to use VS Code debugger with backstage backend node process. So what this allows you to do is allow you to debug uh, the API calls that are being sent to the backstage backend and um, inspect the requests that are coming in and uh, see what is going back to the browser. So what we'll do is first we'll activate debugger auto attach and then we'll open the terminal and start the backstage backend process. Um, and then we'll see those requests coming in. Um, so first start with, we're gonna run, so we control P um, and then we're gonna open, we're gonna type in toggle, toggle auto attach. All right, so we're gonna enter that. So now there are options here. So we're gonna choose, we're gonna choose only with flag. So it's going to only attach when you use the inspect flag. So we'll select that. So now what we need to do is we need to create a new terminal. So if, um, so let's do control P, toggle, focus. Yeah, so it's focus terminal. So now we're creating a new terminal. So now what I'll do is I'll start the back uh, the backstage uh, backend process. So you do yarn start backend inspect. And now this will, okay, so now you could see, so first of all, in the beginning here, you saw that it said debugger attached. And you can see on the left side here, the debugger is actually attached. There's a process attached here. So now let's start another window where we can start the front end so we can make um, API calls to the, to the back end. So yarn start. Uh, so that's going to start the front end without the inspect. So we'll run this. Okay, so now the front end is starting. It was already open before, so I just uh, I'm just reopening it now. So now that it's restarted, okay. So it's restarted now. So what I want to do is I, I want to inspect the the API call that is made to this uh, that is made when when the catalog um, UI renders, it makes a call to the to the catalog backend. So we want to inspect that call. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, node modules into backstage. Uh, where is it? Backstage. Then we're going to go to the the plugin catalog backend and go into dist and go into index.js here. And then we're gonna find the code that we want. So what we're looking for is the create router. So this is the create router call. Uh, and then in here, we're gonna have entities. So it's gonna be in here. So we're gonna put a breakpoint right here. So this is the call. So now if we're gonna refresh this, you can see that it stopped at the breakpoint. And then we can step over, we can inspect the entities that have been retrieved from the database. And now it's preparing the response and this is what it's going to send back to the server. Um, and that's it. Now you're able to debug in VS Code um, the backstage backend. Okay, have a good time. Bye-bye.